What's going on fellow teammates? Welcome back to the IN Team. In today's video we'll be showing you how to recreate Dom Toretto's 1970 Dodge Charger RT from the Fast and Furious franchise in GTA Online. We'll quickly be going over each part you need in LS Customs to build this vehicle. Now to get started you'll need to pick up the base vehicle, which is a Bravado Gauntlet Classic. We've seen a lot of people using the Impulte Dukes for this build, but to us the Dukes chrome front bumper doesn't align with the RT in the Fast franchise. The Gauntlet Classic's bumper still has the chrome lip, and we feel the grille is more in tune with Dom's RT. The Gauntlet Classic can be purchased off of Benny's Original Motorworks for $615,000. Now Dom's Dodge Charger RT has been in five Fast and Furious films, all with some slight modifications, so some of the elements you choose will depend on the version you are trying to build. For this video we are building a hybrid of the RT using styles from both the Fast and Furious 7 and 9. Now we will be skipping over the performance parts and solely focusing on the customization. So the variations start right out the gate. The stock bumper is the best option if you want to keep it clean. However, the model in Fast 7 appeared to have a small splitter so we chose the muscle wedge. No changes are needed for the rear bumper, keep it stock. For chassis you need the regular roll cage. Select anodized for the exhaust. Now the grille is another element that will vary depending on the model you're trying to build. For our build we chose a competition grille. For those of you that don't know, the light covers on this grill move down when the lights are on, which is really neat. We wish Rockstar added features like this more often. The hood is another one that will vary. We selected the triple intake bug catcher, but if you're going for a replica of the Charger in Fast 9, we suggest the Ridgeline hood. For headlights, you can select either one, it doesn't really matter. Unfortunately, they don't have the right mirrors as an option. The ones you need are the bullet mirrors, which are on the custom version of this vehicle. For the license plate, we chose a standard custom plate. And for the respray, select matte black for both primary and secondary. You can also use metallic black. The color really depends on the version of the vehicle you're trying to make. For the trim, keep it at graphite. For the roof, select stock. You can get the primary if you want, but there's really not a difference between the two. For skirts, you need the primary custom. There's no spoiler for this build, so we'll skip that. We selected the lowered option for the suspension. For the wheels, we selected the chrome rough weld from the sports category. There are a few styles that work in this category, such as the Wangdom Master, or Endo V2s, or you could go for the Classic 5, Dukes, or Adriel in the Muscle category. Once again, this really depends on which variation you're building. And lastly, for tent, we selected Light Smoke, and that's everything you need for this rebuild. Not too bad. As mentioned before, there will be some differences based on the variation you're trying to build. Rockstar did leave out some of the elements needed for this build, such as the insets on the doors, hood latches, and the bullet mirrors we previously discussed. It also would have been nice to have the chrome grill cover like the Gauntlet Hellfire. But overall, I think this is a clean build. If you're a fan of the Fast and Furious series, you're going to love having this car in your collection. It's one of the most iconic cars in the franchise, and it's a blast to drive. And that's it. Please let us know your thoughts on this build in the comments, and if you use any other parts to recreate this vehicle. We hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please drop a like and consider subscribing if you thought this was helpful. Your support is greatly appreciated. Thanks again, and until next time, teammates.